Despite multiple attempts, Apple has yet to release a laptop as beloved as the MacBook Air. And although Apple's newest iteration of the Air is a fantastic laptop, you don't need to run out and replace your laptop. Whether you're just trying to breathe new life into your MacBook Air, or you're selling it to help fund a brand new laptop, factory resetting your MacBook Air is easy and straightforward. Before you get started, it's important to back up your data using Time Machine on an external hard drive. To do that, open Launchpad and click on the Time Machine icon. Time Machine does a great job in displaying what data it backs up and how frequently. Connect your hard drive to your MacBook, then select your drive by clicking on Select Backup Disk, followed by Use Disk to save it as the backup drive for Time Machine. If you have limited space on your drive, this is a great time to do some spring cleaning and delete files or media you no longer need. After you finish backing up, you can proceed with your factory reset. Your Air has a built-in recovery disk utility within macOS that you can use to erase and reinstall the operating system on your machine. To get started, restart your MacBook Air. As soon as the Apple logo appears when your machine is booting up, press and hold the Command and R keys on the keyboard. Keep holding them down until the macOS utilities window appears on your screen. Next, click on Disk Utility at the bottom of the list to find your machine's startup disk. For most users, it's the only disk listed here. Select Erase to bring up a new window, then click on Format to start the factory reset. On the next screen, select Mac OS Extended, then enter a name for your reformatted disk. Head back to the Utilities menu by quitting out of Disk Utility. From here, select Reinstall Mac OS to install a fresh copy of the operating system on your computer. This launches the macOS installer, which walks you through reinstalling your operating system. Keep in mind that it might take a while for the OS to download, especially if you're on a slow internet connection. After macOS finishes downloading, accept the installation and let your Mac do its thing. This process takes some time, so let it sit while keeping an eye on it. When it's finished installing, your Air will automatically restart and boot to the macOS welcome screen. If you're planning on selling your Mac, you're done here. However, if you'd like to restore from the backup you created earlier, relaunch Time Machine after you finish setting up your MacBook Air. Time Machine can restore both selected files or your entire backup, depending on which option you choose. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering macOS and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.